Hey you guys, it's Kevin. So today I'm going to be giving you a little day in my life of studying abroad in London. I have been wanting to do this since being here. It's now December. I got here in September. So this is my final month of being here and you might be watching this because it just popped up in your subscription box, which box, <laughs> which um, I see you. Thanks for watching. I know who you are if you're subscribed. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the button down below if you like seeing my face. I don't know, but yeah, um, you also might be watching this because you're interested in studying abroad in London, so I just wanted to give this kind of an informative little glimpse in London study abroad life. Because I know when I was in the application process for study abroad, I, number one, didn't know where to go, and number two, like, none of the abroad videos I was watching, like, were really that informative or raw enough that made me want to, like, go to a certain place. So, just some background before I get into the day. So, I'm studying abroad for just a semester at the University of Roehampton, and if you're watching this for informative reasons about abroad life and whatever, like, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna do, like, an abroad Q&A, so it'll be really informative. You know, I'm gonna spew some info at ya, okay? So, stick around and, yeah, I guess enjoy. I don't know, this lighting is horrible, by the way. It is 10 a.m. And I'm going to start the day how I usually do. I'm going to go on a bike ride, and I'll see you there. Hey, so welcome to Richmond Park. This is... The largest park in London, actually. It's also my favorite park in London. It's right by my school. I just biked here so easily. It took me like 10 minutes. And yeah, this is my favorite place to come in the mornings. Honestly, getting a bike here was probably the best decision I've made out here because I've been able to see so much of the city that I probably wouldn't have seen without my bike. And I got it for only like 80 pounds. It was used. I got it from this guy on Facebook. And my good friend also got a bike, so we bike around. And it's just the best. So if you're studying abroad, get a bike. So I just got back from my bike ride and I'm about to find some flights because a couple of friends and I want to go to Ireland this weekend. And this is something that I do probably every day. I just love to look at flights around here and try to figure out where to go and find like the cheapest deals. So I'm going to show you my process of doing that. So I'm going to start my search on my favorite travel finding website, which is called Go Euro. This video is not sponsored by them, but I highly recommend using them. You can find trains, buses, and planes and it shows like the cheapest options with different airlines and different companies. See, these flights aren't that bad. And this is like really last minute too. Like we're going in two days. Ryanair and EasyJet are like the big cheap ones here. And Ryanair has like really cheap deals too. Like I'm going to show you. It's actually insane. These are one-way flights to all these different places for dirt cheap. Travel agent Kevin signing off. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to my first class of the day. It's actually my only class of the day, and my friend just texted me saying that we're presenting today, which I was unaware of, so I'm just gonna have to wing it. I did the assignment, but I didn't know that there was a presentation portion of it, so we're just gonna see how that goes, and maybe I'll insert a clip. Okay, so I just finished class. It's now five o'clock and it's already pitch black outside. The teacher really did not like us. Yeah, bye Irene. <laughs> She's gonna walk. I know, that's why I'm looking Okay, it's raining, bye. <laughs> So it's now like 9 o'clock and I'm getting ready to go out to the club that the school rented out. Yep, the school rented out a club and they're busing students there. They do this actually every single Wednesday. So yeah, that's all I had to do. I'm pretty much ready now. Getting back to the topic of the school renting out a club. Yeah, I know it's actually crazy. America would never and could never do that. Okay, so that's the bus that we're riding right now. The school is taking us literally to the club. Yeah, round up. Okay, so now we're on the bus. We're actually on the stairs right now because there was no room for us. It's your room. It's your room. 
the goal of this trip is just be Euro. I think Kevin is very Euro. What do you, where do you think I'm from? Um, I think Kevin is from France. What? The UK. Oh. We can't sit on the stairs apparently. So I just got kicked out of the club. <laughs> like, what is this? I literally got kicked out. Oh, he blew. He blew over the barrier. I got kicked out of the uni event. You did? I got kicked out because I jumped off the thing. Okay, London. <laughs> okay, London, relax. So last time I talked to you, I got kicked out of the club. And I just want to preface that I don't usually get that extra. I don't regret getting kicked out of the club. If anything, I'm proud that that happened because what better way to leave the club than getting kicked out? But I am a little disappointed in how the security guard treated me. I'll insert this video of me just dancing shortly after I jumped off the platform and getting grabbed without any explanation and literally thrown out of the club. Personally, I don't think that was the civil way to handle it. But, you know, whatever. It's just another a London mem. You know, I'm just here for the London mems. And that's what I got. Now that we're all on the same page, it's time to answer the questions that some of you sent in on Twitter about study abroad. What abroad program did you go through? I went through a program called ISEP, I-S-E-P, and they kind of just do it all for you. Just fill out an application. It's through my school also, but it's not like a partnered school. There's just like hundreds of schools throughout all of the world that you get to choose from. Honestly, just email somebody at your school and they'll hook you up. Simple as that. Was it hard making friends? Making friends was the one thing that I stressed out about most before coming here because I don't know anybody in London or even on this continent, but it's actually really easy, especially Americans. People just are really like interested in us for some reason, so it's really easy to start conversation with people. And I'm sure you're gonna be with your fellow abroad people in your program, so they're also in the same boat as you. Don't even worry about that, okay? It's just like going to school for the first time, like you end up making friends. Did you experience culture shock? No, because honestly, London is very similar to America besides driving on the left side of the road and calling fries chips. It's pretty much the same. It's not too different to the point where you get off the plane and you think you're on a different planet, but it's just different enough so it's like comfortable and you get acclimated really easily. And I honestly think it's the perfect place to study abroad, especially in Europe because you're in the hub of everything and it's so easy to like travel to different cultures and experience that culture shock that you want. How often do you go to class? Okay, so I'm gonna be real with you and just say that I don't go to class too often. I'm only taking three courses. So in London, maybe this is just a school I'm at, but I think most schools are like this. You take three courses and it's very minimal work. It's just one grade at the end of the semester. So your whole grade is weighted on this one assignment. So you have to just do really good on that assignment. So you don't have to go to class to know what's going on with the assignment, if that makes sense. I don't want to be like a bad influence just at my school and I know a lot of other schools in Europe that's how it's set up and it's a lot less stressful than American schools. Do you feel part of the school? So before coming here I had no expectation of ever feeling like a student that goes to the school. I kind of just expected to take some classes here and there and just like bop around Europe. However, I feel totally included in everything that the school has to offer. Actually, it's nice because University of Rockhampton treats the abroad students like actual full-time students and we're invited to everything. We have our own events. It's just like really nice. How much money should I bring abroad? Okay, let's talk about finances for a sec. I'm gonna see how much I've spent so far. I'm gonna log into my bank account and I'll talk to you in a second. I've spent $3,500. I think that's a good amount to bring. Honestly, you should bring like $5,000 if you wanna have like a lot of fun. London is kind of notorious for being an expensive city, which in my opinion, most European cities are expensive. So you should kind of like pack some money before coming here. But it all just depends on where you're going and how much you're spending. You could be frugal with it. With that money I've spent, I've gone to eight different countries and lived pretty luxurious. I haven't really stayed at too many hostels, mainly Airbnbs, some hostels though. I actually. Another like side note, hostels are much nicer than they're made out to be. This is my first time going to hostels since being out here. And I thought they'd be like really gross with like rats in your blankets and cockroaches like in your mouth when you wake up. But we actually were able to find some bougie ones. So if you just go online, like there are nice ones. I think those are all the questions. Yep, that's it. But as you know, I love reading your comments. So if you have any questions that I didn't answer, comment them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this day in my life of being an abroad student in London. Um, I hope it gave you like a little inside look 
look at what it's like and a glimpse into your future if you're going to be studying abroad here. And if you are, I am forever jealous. I wish I could restart this chapter in my life. It's been so fun. And if you're watching this and you're still on the fence about studying abroad, I want to personally push you over the fence into abroad and just, just go. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, click the button down there. I post videos pretty frequently now. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time.